Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and today's video is for musicians who use Finale software at the intermediate level. There are many occasions when we want to subdivide notes into smaller values, such as triplets, such as eighth notes into sixteenth notes, or half notes into quarter notes, or even eighth notes. One of the most urgent needs to do this comes when you have triplet figures or other tuplet figures and you need to subdivide one or more of the notes in that tuplet figure into smaller values, such as in this example, which many of us need to use quite often. This technique is used a lot by one of my very favorite writers, Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. In today's video, I'm going to show you two different techniques on subdividing notes. Hopefully, these techniques will not only give you the specific illustration of how to do this, but will also open the door so that you can use these techniques to expand your own capabilities and knowledge and use them in future situations. For this example, let's say I want to replicate these triplets, similar to what Tchaikovsky uses in March Slav, containing the figure 8th, 2 sixteenths, 8th. Both techniques start with entering the 8th note triplets. Let's do that now. I'll use speedy entry for this, but you can use whatever method works best for you. Control 3 to designate triplets, then 4, 4, 4 for eighth notes. And there's another. The first method I want to illustrate is using speedy entry. Starting with the first triplet of eighth notes, select speedy entry and click on the measure to place the entry point there. Press the right arrow until the cursor is on the center eighth note, which is the one we want to change to two sixteenths for this example. Press the three key to change that note to a sixteenth note. Then immediately press the insert key to change the cursor to the insert mode. Press the down arrow key to select the new pitch. Then press the three key again to insert a new sixteenth note at that point. When you are finished inserting, you should immediately press the insert key again to change back out of the insert mode to the normal entry mode. Then you can use the plus or minus to add an accidental to the note you just entered. The second method involves the mass selector tool and a plug-in. On this second group of eighth note triplets, be sure your mass selector tool is selected then drag select the center eighth note in the triplet. Be sure to drag all the way to just before the beginning of the next eighth note, or it will only select the first half of that eighth note. Now we use the rhythmic subdivision plugin to split that note into two equal parts. The first time you do this, you'll need to set up the parameters, but each time you use it after this, you can simply use the keyboard shortcuts to quickly repeat the sequence. On this first use, when you're setting up the parameters, go to Plugins, Note, Beam, and Rest Editing, Rhythmic Subdivisions. That brings up the dialog. In there, select Subdivide Entries into and insert two equal values. While you're in this dialog, take a look at some of the other options you have with this tool. But for now, we will work only with the Selected Entries area. Once the parameters are set, you can click OK and the note will be subdivided. Notice how that has been done. To repeat this same action quickly, here are the keyboard shortcuts you can use. First, you select the note or notes, you can do more than one you want to subdivide, and use the keyboard shortcut Alt-I, N, R, R, Enter, Enter, and boom, you're done! With practice, you can execute this action in about a second. If the notes appear jammed up, and they probably will because you're squeezing more notes into the exact same space, you can quickly force a respacing of the measure by selecting the speedy entry tool, click on the measure, and then click out of it. If you want to change the pitch of the second note, such as in this case to lower the pitch half a step from an F to an E natural, this is very quick to do while you're in the speedy entry tool. Simply place the cursor somewhere on the stem of the note, anywhere is OK. Press the minus key to lower it, and that makes it into an F flat, and we don't want an F flat, so we're now going to press the 9 key to change it inharmonically from F flat to E natural. And there you go. 
I hope this video has helped you learn at least one new technique to use the power of finale and to do so quickly and easily. Please share this video with other Finale users you know, and leave us a comment down in the comment section below to tell us what other sort of Finale videos you would like to see illustrated in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that thumbs up button to let the YouTube robots know you found this video helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.